and uh, market analysis. I don't think anything's really changed this week over the past couple of days. We are where we are from when I've uh, I made the video on Monday. But does, but does anyone want to go over any um, any trade setups or anything that they're actually looking at? Uh, give an update as to you know any trades. I did get involved in this. I'm in the euro dollar short. I'm in the pound dollar short. I got back in on that pound Swiss, and I'm also in on the euro Swiss as well. So um, I'm in a few uh, euro trades short, couple euro trades short, buying a Swiss franc, and a uh, couple pound trades short as well. Um, but does anyone want to talk about anything or does anyone want to go over uh, the trades that I took, you know, entries, my thinking behind it? Um, if you haven't watched the video, anything like that? Or is, everyone, is everything okay? Yeah, all good, Alexandros. Anyone else want me to go over anything or just detail anything? Anything like that? Everyone's all good? I mean, I'm waiting on the... Uh pull back on silver but um ah, okay you're looking at silver silver but, uh, silver okay with the point you were just making uh um with the bank of canada mm -hmm. being first uh to go i guess dovish or yeah whatever um wouldn't that be a good pair to pair with uh the swiss franc um it's it's still a tricky one because fundamentally um uh the 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 the, the CAD sorry say that again the reason I say that is because the, the the Swiss franc uh economy is doing a little bit better and they don't intend on pulling back on hikes yet, right? Right, exactly. Um, but they're not hiking as much as the Canadian dollar, right? So the Canadian dollar has kind of done a downshift, whereas the um, the the Swiss National Bank are only looking to hike by 50 basis points. I think that was the, um, I, I did see that somewhere. Now, it's a bit of a difficult one, and I definitely get your reasoning behind it, yeah, as to buy the Swiss franc against just commodity currencies in general, Yeah. Um, currencies, CAD, Swiss. Yeah, I, I, I totally understand it. Um, but because uh, I to to kind to kind of quantify it, I would say there are better trades out there. I think there are clearer trades out there. Um, if you was to buy the Swiss against the Canadian dollar, I would say that is a um, a sound idea, a sound idea, but not it's not an idea that I would be ultimately confident on. Um, I think there's a, just a, a clearer divergence, for example, between the between Europe. Because all right, let's, let's let's I guess maybe look at it another way, right? So, who's who would you think is better out of Canada and Europe? Let's have a vote. Yeah, do you think? Canada. You think Canada's better than than Europe, right? So Ruby yeah. wants says Canada. Canada. Everyone's who all right. So let's say let's assume that everyone's gonna say Canada, but let's does anyone think that Europe is in a better situation than Canada? No. <laughs> no one thinks that. Right. Okay. <laughs> so 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 then so then you would say, okay, so so Europe are the worst, right? So then if I'm buying the Swiss franc, yeah then it's definitely going to be more against the euro than it is against the Canadian dollar. Do you get my okay. thinking? I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So that's, and because I'm in the euro Swiss, okay. I'm already in the euro Swiss. So for me, it's like, I'm not going to take that trade. And it's the same thing with the, with the, with the CAD versus the pound, right? So the CAD versus the pound, who is, who would you say is in a better position? Canadian, Canada or, or, or the UK? Um, I guess Canada still. Yeah, right. Richie says CAD, right? And yeah. I would and I would agree with that as well, right? I would say probably the Canadian dollar is probably better than the UK, yeah? 
And so with that, they're in a better position than the UK, right? So with that now, again, if I'm buying a Swiss franc, right, I'm going to buy it against the, the, the pound, which I am, right? I said I'm, I'm short the pound Swiss. So you can, and, I, and then because I've already used up, you know, I, I tend to only really kind of load up unless I'm very, very bullish or very bearish. I only really try and get into maybe two pairs of the same currency. So because I'm already in two Swiss pairs, there's no room for me now, unless I'm very, very bullish on the Swiss franc. Um, I'm not really going to enter into another, another you know, uh, trade. And it's the same thing with the euro, right? So euro, so with the euro, I'm, I'm short euro, dollar, euro, Swiss, right? And so those are really my trades. And then I'm, sh and then I'm short on the uh, pound, dollar as well. Right and pounds actually pound Swiss yeah so pound Swiss of um and pound Swiss I'm oh I'm short on a euro yeah we already covered that yeah so I've I've literally just only in two pound trades two dollar trades two Swiss trades and two euro trades yeah so I'm I'm trading Swiss or euro Swiss yeah to be clear and I'm trading euro dollar. Right, or well, those are the positions that I'm in. I'm in the, the pound Swiss and I'm in the pound dollar. Yeah, so I'm buying some there and there. Two pound, two euro, and then two Swiss. That's it. I'm maxed out in terms of risk because if the if the if the dollar starts to go against me and you know the Swiss franc go against me, I don't want to be in, you know, a lot of those types of trades when they go against me. Yes, you know, if 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 it goes for me, then brilliant, right? But I'm more risk averse than I am looking to, you know, what I mean, make money because I'm gonna make money regardless of whether, you know, if I'm right about it, but I want to mitigate my risk. So I'm always thinking about, you know, not being too top heavy on the um on any you know pairs so or any one individual currencies so the most i'll do is you know two uh of the same currency so that's where we are i get what you're saying you, yeah. you mind over silver before you yeah yeah, yeah. I'll, go, I'll go over i'll go over silver uh let me just admit a sabi so i'll go over silver um where are we now commodities silver XAG, right. Um, let's just remove the drawings, right. So where are we with silver? Looks like we're definitely in this in this auction. <sighs> Between this high 